Hi, this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make this uh, beaded uh, eyeglass case. And um, as you see, I decided to add my beads in a diamond shape. And uh, turns out one of the meanings of the diamond shape is um, it symbolizes uh, light, life and sun. So, um, and uh, I think it's a perfect way to celebrate our moms for upcoming Mother's Day. And also, um, it would make a nice uh, gift for her. And as you see, I made the opening of the case a bit narrow so that uh, when you put your glasses in here, they stay in there more securely of course um, a little button helps as well so if you um, prefer um, this size is actually also pretty good for a cell phone so you can make it for your phone just um, don't increase the stitches um, on the edge here because the phone won't fit through here so you have an option to make it either a cell phone case or eyeglass case. And let's uh, first see the materials. And I'm using Alize Bella yarn. It is 100% um, cotton. Uh, one skein is enough. It has uh, 50 grams in it and it is a weight number two. So it's uh, quite fine. A uh, crochet hook is size 2.75 millimeters. Uh, you'll need the beads. These are si glass beads size 6 slash 0. It means they are 4 millimeter beads. And you'll need exactly 100 of them. And the needle, uh, just to make sure the needle fits uh, through the beads when you choose it and let's get started and the first thing to do here is to get all these hundred beads on the yarn and uh, I will push the beads uh, back on the yarn a little bit because we need to uh, crochet <clears throat> a few rows without the beads first and so going back to the yarn tail first make a slip knot and now uh, chain 23 one, two three, four, and the first row, uh, single crochet, starting from the second chain from the hook, and just single crochet one in each chain, you'll have 22 stitches. And uh, starting row two, chain one and turn, and then just single crochet one in each stitch and make two rows like that, the second and the third. And starting row four, we're going to add the beads so pull that first one closer here then start the same chain one and turn and now single crochet 12 um, 11 2 3 4 beats are making noise 5 Six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11. And so uh, when we add the beads, they're always going to be on that other side of the work, not the side that, that we're facing. So now pull that first bead close right here next to the stitch and then just uh, keep stitching. Make sure it's tight enough but not too tight. So you see it's going to stay on the other side of the work. We are going to keep stitching. Always need to pull the rest of the beads further on the yarn. So I have now 11 left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and again chain 1 and turn. And the next row is number 5. We're just going to a uh, single crochet, one in each. One, two, three, four. I did ten so far, so here's my eleventh stitch. And the twelfth, the bead is nicely staying here. Thirteen, and so forth. And row six, we're going to add two beads. So you see we are adding beads on each even numbered row. So chain one. Now uh, make 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now pull the next bead close against the stitch back here. Then make two more stitches. One, two, and now comes the second bead here on this row. So put it next to the stitch and keep crocheting. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to be ten stitches here. And row seven, the odd numbered rows, we are only single crocheting, one in each stitch. No beads here. Row 8, we're going to add 3 beads, so first chain and turn, and now make 9 stitches first, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, time to add the first one. Pull it next to the stitch back here and now two stitches, one, two. So you see we always uh, make two single crochet stitches between the beads. Now the next one. Two more stitches. Make sure the bead stays here when you start new stitches made two and now the third bead pull it close and we have now nine more stitches to do and this is looking good already And row 9, as before, just single crochet, one in each 
chain first, turn and single crochet stitches. And uh, let's do a few more rows together. So uh, on row 10, I will need four beads. Chain one and single crochet eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring the first bead against the stitch back here. Crochet two, one, two. Bring the next one against the stitch back here. Crochet two, one, two. Bring the next third one and crochet two and the fourth one. And crochet eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do the row 11 single crochets and row 12 chain single crochet seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to add now five beads. Bring the first one, two, second bead, one, two, third bead. One, two, fourth, one, two, and fifth, and seven. So now you'll see how it um, repeats next row do the single crochets and then next uh, you need to add six beads so you'll uh, first crochet six stitches and add the beads and uh, crochet two single crochets between each and so forth after that it's five four so do this until you when you have uh, ten beads on a row And I finished 23 rows. I've got uh, 10 beads here. And uh, now I'm just going to repeat this in reverse order. Next one is going to be again nine beads like here. So as you noticed, when you did the 10 beads, you only crochet two stitches and then added a bead. So so now that we are going to add nine, we are going to do three stitches first and then add the nine beads. Same way, bead and two stitches, bead and two stitches. 
and then again the next row coming back here just single crochet one in each and now do this until you have only one bead on the row and then you have used all your hundred beads and now I have finished the row it's uh, number 40 with the single one bead here in the middle and from here now um, single crochet without the beads and uh, make total of 88 rows and that's when we can um, uh, continue doing the next steps I finished uh, 88 rows my working loop is here so this is the long piece now and um, <clears throat> now I'm going to uh, fold it in two and keep the beads outside and now we can um, uh, stitch together the one of the sides this one so here's my loop it's on this side so I'm just going to bring it all the way up uh, in up here insert through and make a single crochet stitch and now I'm going to uh, go and insert hook into um, every other row on the side there are kind of holes in here so here's my next space here and make sure to uh, make these stitches loose loosely because these need to be big stitches white space so here's my next I'm gonna stretch my loop longer here's my next one next is here and do this all the way to the bottom and uh, I'm going to end now with a slip stitch here in this space here and um, now we need to cut off the yarn fasten off and we can do the other side so we'll join the yarn make a slip knot and I'm going to join it with the slip stitch here in the beginning space make a slip stitch first and then I'm gonna do the single crochet stitches again just like on the other side skip one row and insert hook into the next And here is my last stitch on this side and uh, we're not going to cut off the yarn here we can continue doing the upper edge and now I'm going to first insert my hook through the both sides here and just do a slip stitch Then next I will chain one and now we're going to do half double crochet stitches around in each stitch. So here's my first one, insert hook here, then second 
and third and so forth so do this for the first round half double crochets and uh, so we have total of 44 half double crochet stitches around and I'm going to slip stitch into that beginning one here to finish uh, next round first chain two and now we're going to do the front post double crochet stitches so first yarn over and now insert your hook from front to back around the post of the first half double crochet here this, this one here and then pull yarn through and do the double crochet stitch again yarn over insert a hook through the post of the next half double crochet stitch pull yarn through and do the double crochet number two third one same and now we're going to do two together so we start the same yarn over insert hook through the post of half double crochet here and now pull through first two loops keep last two loops on hook and the second yarn over around the post of half double crochet stitch pull through first two loops now you have three loops on hook pull through all of them so this is two front post double crochets together so because we need to decrease on this round and next two three double front front post double crochets so one two and three and now again we're going to do uh, two together start the first one start the second one pull through three loops on hook and now continue to uh, three front post double crochets and then next two together I did last three front post double crochets here one two three and um, I have one stitch here left so I'm gonna start that one and when I have two loops on hook I'm going to insert into the first beginning one pull thread through and also through the loops on hook uh, next round chain two and first make five front post double crochets one two three this one is two together to make sure insert hook around post here four and five and now the next one again two together so we start the first one start second and pull through three loops and again now five this one was two together on a previous round make five and then two together for this round and I did my last two stitches together here I have one last uh, stitch left here this one I'm gonna do the same as on previous round so I'm gonna start it pull through first two loops when I have two loops on hook I insert my hook into the first one pull 
yarn through and also the loops and hook. And now last round, chain one and slip stitch in each stitch around. And then when you get to the middle of the back side, then uh, let's make the button loop here together. And I'm on a back side now here and I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches left to do. And uh, before I do those, I'm gonna chain 10 for the button loop. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you're using a bigger button, mine is pretty small, then you can chain more for the bigger loop. But ten is enough for this one. I would say it's maybe half an inch. And And I'm going to uh, slip stitch into that same stitch here that I started the chain from. And then uh, do the rest. And then slip stitch into the beginning and we're done you can cut off the yarn fasten off uh, weave in all the ends and uh, sew on the button so you want this to be uh, in the middle here. And you can put it on the, on the edge or maybe a little bit uh, more to the middle of this edge. It's gonna look better. Like this. Perfect. And here is my finished eyeglass case. I hope you have fun uh, making it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and happy crocheting.